my teacher taught me something that I thought was very, very inspiring, and that is that there's two types of conversations. One could be helpful and one could be hurtful. So for example, a hurtful conversation could be that I walk into school one day and I say, someone has been captured and I tell them all the details of the story and everything. That can be hurtful and there's various reasons as to why. Um, first of all, maybe their parents don't let. Second of all, they might get scared. Third of all, they might have nightmares. And it's just very hurtful when you say such a thing. It's not, no good is gonna come out. But if you say a miracle story, or if you say, here, my cousin is in the army, here's his name for Tehillim, that's helping because if you say to home for someone, not only is it making that person have more power and making Hashem more happy, it's making you feel better because you know that you did something in the world. You helped. And it just makes you feel better to know a miracle story, everything is gonna be okay. You know that you're davening for someone and it's very helpful. Now, when we're sad and grumpy and in a bad mood, that's not helping because thus the soldiers that are fighting want us to be happy because when we're happy, we're strong. And when we're strong, we're gonna win the war. And what the enemy is trying to do is knock out all our energy and make us sad and grumpy. And when someone's sad and grumpy, they don't want to say to Helen. They don't want to inspire others to say to Helen. They don't want to win wars. They don't. They just want to sit and cry and watch videos of what's so bad. And they don't want. They don't want. They don't want to be happy. And they don't want to daven. And, and they don't want to inspire. So. When we're happy, we're helping. And even though there's no airlines to Israel right now, very shortly we're all going to end up there with Mashiach.